guys. Good to see you. It's Saturday night. We're next to a dairy barn. This is great. I like you guys. You're like quarantined in the back. It's cool. What the hell is going on? Hey, how are you guys? Hey, sir. Hello. Good to see you. I don't know what you just said, but nice. Cool. No table. That's good. I'll just hold this. Uh, Damn, let's get into it. I, uh, I don't know if you guys saw, everyone see that uh, viral video last week? We saw that whole bike thing go down. Or the president go down, rather. Guy fell on his ass, no? I'm not gonna get political, don't get weird. I, but he just fell off a fucking bike. That's all, it's weird or the free world, boom, just right? That was it. That's all it took. That's all it took. I don't know if you guys know, there was actually an assassination attempt on Biden a couple weeks ago. Uh, Someone invited him rollerblading. Great set. <laughs> that was it, you know, it's big for that guy. Here we are though, we made it into uh, July, years going by. Uh, by now, in the, you know, this year you've probably given up on any sort of like New Year's resolution you've had or something, you know? Anyone do a resolution? No, 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 no. Fuck it, exactly, yeah, we didn't, didn't do that. I was at a New Year's party in January, because that's when they happen, and um, <laughs> I asked my friend, I was like, you have any resolutions? She goes, I do. Already I was pissed. I didn't want to hear it at all. She goes, I do. I said, all right, what's your resolution? She said, my New Year's resolution is to stop wondering if I'm good enough for other people and think about if they're good enough for me. I was like, wow. She goes, what's yours? I was like, I'm just trying to cut out cheese. <laughs> It's really it, I am trying to cut out cheese. I go to the gym for that, gym uh, is cool. I don't really like the gym though, I'm not a very confident person in the gym, I'm not big into it, you know. Like if there's a machine I need to use and someone's using it, I don't like confrontation. So if I really need to use it, I pack up and I go home. <laughs> I won't bother you, I won't ask, I won't annoy the fuck out of you, okay, that's it. The gym is also the only place in the world where it's okay to be like a sweaty, gross fucking mess and no one gives a shit, right? If you see a big dude get off the treadmill, he's just dripping, just like, Pfft, uh, you're like, good for him. That guy's killing it, great. But if you saw the same dude in the same condition at like Stop and Shop picking out produce, you'd be like, what is in his system? It's a mess. People, uh, people do this one a lot and they wanna pretend to be skinny. If you're taking a picture for someone, they go, take it from up here, that's my skinny angle. Sure it is. Sure it is. My friend just did this to me recently, uh, like a month ago, I was taking some graduation photos from Skinny Mike that I know, and uh, he was like, nah, Dan, up here, up here, skinny angle. I was like, listen, man, if you have one point of view where you look skinny, you're probably not very skinny. I was like, you're not probably, you know, skinny. Don't blame the other angles. You're fat. And that's it. Was, uh, that kid's complaining to me about Zoom school. He's like, remote learning, this shit's all kicking my ass, you know? And like, I get it, but I think students nowadays have it easier though, because when I was younger, I actually had a teacher that tried to have sex with me, which was uh, probably the weirdest part about being homeschooled. <laughs> yeah, that's tough, that's a tough one, I understand, yeah. I told one of my coworkers that joke, she was like, you were homeschooled? I'm like, that is not the weirdest thing that I just said to you. Yeah, people are always so surprised when they find out I was homeschooled. Like, you're homeschooled, you do comedy, like, that's crazy. You seem so normal. I'm like, normal, I sit when I pee. I'm like, what do you mean? There's a lot of stereotypes, too, about, uh, about being homeschooled. I'm gonna tell you guys they're all true, right? They're all true. We're anti-social, we can't make eye contact, we have huge dicks. It's all true. That one's for me, I needed that. I got a micro penis up here, so I just need to feel better about myself. <laughs> I have, uh, I have a good family though, I have a little niece, she's very cute, she's two, uh, she curses, That's, she always curses, she's always cursing, and I know where she got it from too, I'm not one of those delusional people, there's a lot of parents out there, their kids are running around saying the n-word, they're like, I have no idea where they heard that, so I'm like, it's you, motherfucker, I'm like, I know what goes on at home, she curses and she curses well. She curses very well. She can't say other words though, too. Literally, this, I'm not even fucking with you guys. This happened the other day. I looked at her, I was like, Audrey, where's your bottle? She goes, Baba! Grabs her Baba, drops it on the floor, goes, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> like, All right, you know, very passionate, it's good for her. I have a good family though, I, I like my family. I have an Italian family, I'm sure we got some Italians here tonight. Uh, oh, Long Island, what a shock. Italian, that's crazy. Yeah. I used to think being Italian meant something cool, though, like we say mozzarella or go like this or some shit, but uh, as I've gotten older, I realized being Italian just means body hair. And that's it. 
That really starts and ends there. I would give up this to be hairless. I don't really give a fuck about this, to be honest with you guys. No, you guys aren't getting it. My ass hair has back hair. Okay? Good. I have a good family. I like them. We'd get into some strange situations, though. We would do this. Uh, we used to watch Game of Thrones together as a family. And uh, that's a tough watch. I'll tell you guys why. If you've never seen Game of Thrones, I'd start with something a little bit lighter, like hardcore porn. <laughs> And you work up to Game of Thrones, okay? Because <laughs> that's a tough time, man. If you're watching something this heavy, you need somebody who has the remote to have, like, remote confidence, you understand? My mom had the remote, she did not have remote confidence. We'd be watching, I'm like, listen, lady, I'm like, you just paused it on a hairy medieval bush. I'm like, can we get off that? It's nasty. Why don't I watch that? It's always some wild ancestral shit, though, too, in Game of Thrones. I'm with my family. That's a fucking nightmare, right? So this is how it would go. We'd sit down for family porn night, and we're cuddled. We're touching one blanket, one couch. Very intimate. Every Sunday, the Lord's Day. And a sex scene starts, and, you know, that you can't help that. You just gotta, you know, go through it. So my mom would go to start fast-forwarding. That's the right thing. That's what you should do, you know? But here's the problem with this bitch. She would go too far and start skipping all this important shit. I'm like, lady, rewind, go back, what are you doing? But she would send us back into the same sex scene that we just watched. In reverse, which is just as bad. So I'm like, lady, press play, fast forward. But she would hit pause and then fast forward. And what does that do? Slow motion. So now we're watching the same sex scene for the third time in way more detail. It's horrible. I'm looking at my sister. I'm trying to like normalize it. I was like, man, he's really banging her. I was like, oh, look at that. Oh uh, fuck, man. My grandmother was with us one time. That's that's tough. You don't want to watch that with your grandmother ever. We, the sex scene came on. My grandmother was like, oh, do we really have to watch this couple have sex? I'm like, no, Nana. That's his sister. I'm like, it's way worse than you thought it was. <laughs> She's good though, I like my grandma. Any grandparents here tonight? Yes? Nice, clap it up for her, guys. Yes, she's great, she's getting involved. Good to see you. What do your, uh, what do your grandkids call you? What do you, uh, 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 huh? I speak in Mandarin? What do, you, what do your grandkids call you? Huh? Uh, Nani? That's the worst one yet. Oh, yeah, that's, that's bad. Not as bad, actually. The lady I asked in my last show, she said, Your Royal Highness. I almost punched her in the throat. <laughs> Nutty is not bad, though. Um, it's kind of out of control what some people call their grandparents, though, these days. You know, there's like, no, no, me, ma, gam, gam. <laughs> it's nuts. I just call my grandmother racist. <laughs> she is? She is racist, man. She's, she's, she's a good person. Uh, she's always trying to instill like, positive things into me, though, mentally. You know, she was big on this phrase. She goes, ah, Dan, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. I'm like, Dan, that's beautiful. I'm like, but you have Alzheimer's. And I'm pretty sure you don't need it. I don't understand your logic. I'm in therapy, I think because of my family, to be honest, and uh, I like my therapist, we just had a big breakthrough recently, and uh, he looked at me in our last session, he just goes, ah, oh, Dan, I hate to say it, but you have a fear of abandonment. I was like, fuck. It's like a fear of abandonment, he goes, well, you know, let me think about it. He was like, you know, your parents are divorced, you have friends who come and go, he's like, a lot of your relationships just kind of end suddenly. I was like, shit, fear of abandonment? I was like, I don't think so. I was like, no, that's not me, it can't be. He encouraged me to give him some thought, he was like, I'll see you next week. I was like, you promise? He's like, you... <laughs> Don't leave, please. I dated a therapist, and uh, if you haven't dated a therapist, don't, because they're fucking crazy. And we shouldn't be listening to these people. She would do this really cute thing where she wouldn't let me leave her house. And that's a problem, so uh, I had to drop subtle hints that I wanted to like, get the fuck out of there, you know? So we were hanging out really late one night, and I looked at her and I said, Oh, you look so tired. That was my big move, it didn't really work. She got pissed, she goes, uh, never tell a woman that she looks tired. She looks at me, she goes, telling a woman that she looks tired is like telling her that she looks like shit. Wow. And I was like, hold up, I was trying to flirt, be cute, have fun, I was like, that's not a bad thing. I said to her, I was like, you're dozing off, your eyes are closing, I was like, you do look tired. And on top of that, you also look like shit. <laughs> she started freaking out, she was losing it. She was like, are you fucking kidding me? She was a therapist, so I flipped the script. I was like, I'm sensing some anger here. I'm like, what? Let's walk through this together, all right? How about that? She was a twin. Uh, that got me into some trouble. Um, I accidentally said her twin's name while we were having sex one night. 
that's hard to come back from. You know, I, I was so close though, I almost got away with it. Both their names actually start with S, right? Her name is Sarah, but her twin's name is Steve. <laughs> you see the issue. She's good. Uh, she was a softball player. I don't know if you guys know anything about softball players. I actually learned a lot myself. Um, do you guys know those visors that they wear? Softball players? They're big on that, right? Turns out those visors are actually for keeping the sun out of their eyes while they're eating pussy. <laughs> it's a joke about lesbian softball players, guys. I don't know if it's like a fundraiser for lesbian softball players, but that is a good joke. I'm gonna chalk that laugh up to the fact that you guys are just eating. Yeah, she was, she was cool though. Um, she was Spanish, she came from a Spanish family, and I don't know if anyone's ever made that mistake. Um, <laughs> No, there's nothing wrong with that. When you date a Spanish girl, you date the Spanish family, though. You gotta realize, you know? And it's kind of weird. You date the brother, you date the mother, you date the grandma, and it's cool because she lives upstairs, almost always. And it's kind of fun having her around because she's no older than, like, 35, so... We start early. We had our first date at a restaurant, though, and uh, I'll tell you guys about that. Um, when the bill came, I took out my wallet, and uh, I was going to pay it. So she looked at my wallet, and she said, holy shit. She goes, you know, that's pretty presumptuous, because I had a condom in my wallet. So she sees that, she goes, that's pretty presumptuous, don't you think? I was like, well, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it, so. Hey, guys, I'm Dan LaRocco. Keep it going for your host. We have a great show lined up for you. Man.